My grade 10 teacher told the class once that someone did a survey if people would rather speak publicly or die, and a majority of the people said death, which is crazy thinking that so many people would rather choose death over doing a presentation. Hey Nelson, if you were given the option to publicly speak or die, what would you choose? I'd choose the three release of death. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, I hated presenting too. But that's because I'm an awkward ball of conversation. But honestly, thanks to art school, I've gotten pretty used to presenting because a lot of the art projects that we do have to be presentations. And a lot of the ones that I had to sit through were pretty boring and not very memorable. So yeah, that's my project. What do you guys think? Um, I like the red. I had to do this group presentation once where we had to pick a random art gallery and then present a review on it. And my partner Danny and I, we chose to go to the McMichaels Art Gallery. While we were there, we took a lot of photos of me just being stupid and goofing around and just honestly having a good time at the art gallery. And while creating the presentation, I filled it with said stupid photos and just some silly jokes here and there. And I just so happened to find this really embarrassing old elementary school photo of Danny on Facebook and I put it at the very last slide of the presentation. When I finished creating a presentation, I gave it to Danny and I told her to look it over before we actually presented. And let's just say Danny didn't look over the presentation. Our prof was not happy with the presentation, but I did make everybody else laugh and everybody actually paid attention to my presentation. So who's the real winner here? I showed up to a lecture once and the first thing the prof said was, "A." Hey, you guys are all artists, right? Let's redesign these bathroom signs to make them more inclusive because not everybody wears dresses and not everybody has hairstyles that look like this. So the first thing we did in class was we had to split up into groups and we had to design new bathroom signs. People went up to present their bathroom signs and there were designs like the male and female symbol or the XX and XY chromosomes, but then people complained that those signs were also not inclusive enough for bathrooms. Our group thought this was pretty dumb, so we just loafed around and didn't really do much for the time that we were given. And when it was our turn to present, I just went up and I drew a toilet with the seat up and the seat down. Uh, would you care to explain what you drew? Uh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> As you can see, that toilet has a seat up and that one has a seat down. Um, actually, I like the pee sitting down. <sighs> well, as you can see, that toilet has a seat up and that one, the seat is down. Yeah, that was the least productive English class I've ever taken. This one time we had to sit through this safety presentation and our school's like safety department's mascot was like the safety squirrel. And they had this one slide that just popped up and it just said, if you want to be safe, don't forget to nut. And Marissa and I just died laughing. We thought it was like the funniest thing ever. It was such a silly acronym and it didn't realize what the heck was going on. So Marissa and I took this idea and we had this bit planned for a video where Chris would be doing a presentation on soft skills and it would spell out like a stupid acronym. So we later cut out that bit, but it just so happened around that time we had to do a presentation where we basically had to teach the class something useful. So I took the presentation that we made for the bit and I turned it into an actual presentation for that class. All right class, so to sum it up, don't forget about these important soft skills. Flexibility, loyalty, adaptability, communication, creativity, integrity, and discipline. Looking back now, there's actually no need to be nervous about presenting when you just decide to have fun with your presentations and laugh about it with your friends, because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, a majority of people don't even pay attention to the presentations. And if you ask anyone, odds are they won't remember any of the presentations they had to sit through. Maybe except for mine, because mine were actually entertaining. Hey, do you remember any of the presentations we did back in school? Oh yeah, there was this one time you both flashed it on the screen, but nobody <laughs> noticed. There we go. Proof. <laughs> so yeah, those were my favorite presentations that I've done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> Don't forget, if you want to have soft skills, you need to be flaccid.